What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. Today I'm going to give you some of the secret tools that I use to answer some of your questions about solar and to do calculations on solar when I'm doing a project for myself. The first is PV Watts. You've probably heard of this before, but this is a great tool that uh, helps you to estimate the amount of power you can produce with a given system. This is a tool put out by the National Renewable Energy Laboratory and it's pretty easy to use. You just need to know where you live, um, the size of the system that you're going to use, uh, the cost of your electricity, and a few other things. And you plug those in and it will do the calculations for you. So this information is really useful because it gives you a breakdown of how much solar you're going to produce on a month-by-month -month basis, the total amount of power that you're going to produce, and what kind of cost savings that can give you. The second one is by far the most useful tool that I have. I go to this again and again and again. And this one calculates how many panels and how many batteries I'm going to need for an off-grid solar panel system. This one's a little bit harder to use, but once you've done it a couple times, it's okay. You need to know the, load, the characteristics of the load that you're trying to power with your solar. You need to know how many hours a day that load runs, and you need to know the voltage of your system and how many days or hours of backup power you want from your batteries. Once you plug all that information in, like you see here in blue, then it will spit out information in the red uh, rectangles that you'll need to be able to design your system. It'll tell you how many batteries you need and how many solar panels you need for the given size that you select. The third one I don't use quite as often anymore because once you get some experience with solar you kind of have a good feel for this, but when you're starting out you really need a good wire size calculator. This one's by far the easiest of the three to use. You just need to know the voltage of your system, the linear feet of the wire you're going to need to use, and then how many amps are going to uh, be passed along those wires. I would recommend leaving step four alone. You want 3% loss. Once you hit calculate, it gives you the gauge of the wire that you need to use to get minimal voltage drop. It's really that simple. Anyway, that concludes this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time.